It's a fatty phenomenon. What can I do to get you on a cake today? <laughs> we groove with Cake Industries and build their fat tire bike. Party time. Everybody likes cake. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this. Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind-the-scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the outdoors. Tire bikes are everywhere these days, netting more than $50 million in sales annually. It's part of the fatty phenomenon. Fat bikes allow you to off-road and ride year-round. Wheel with me, let's see why. The fat bike market is not a fad. The craze of fat tire bikes are pretty big. Mountain bikes are made to kind of go anywhere and you could kind of climb anything, go over anything, big rocks and roots. Over the past two years, the craze has picked up speed, but the origin of the fat bike dates back to the early 90s. Competitive mountain biking is a grueling sport. The Iditta bike is Alaska's cycling version of the Iditta rod sled dog race. The final leg of the race retraces the Iditarod Trail back to Kinnick Lake, a total of over 210 miles. In the 1980s, bikers would try to navigate 400 miles along the sledding course on standard mountain bikes. Riding in the snow demanded the need for bigger tires and better traction, and the fat tire bike was born. In 2014, a number of companies started mass producing fat bikes with four inch wide tires and 26 inch rims. These bikes can pretty much go anywhere. Now fat tire bikes are one of the hottest trends in cycling. Let's see how Cake Industries fat tire bikes are made for the outdoors. We're gonna be making a 13 inch rigid cake 24 inch wheel fat bike. Cake Industries is located in the heart of one of the best bike-friendly cities in the country, Minneapolis. Eric Norn owns two lines of bikes, Cake and Peacock Grew. Cake bike lines are unique because they're more suited for smaller riders. So it's more proportional to people who are like 5, 8 and under. It gives a better ride, it's quicker, it's lower to the ground. It rides like a dream, legit dream, like I dream of genie dream. From start to finish, it's a one-man band production. We actually cut the tubes, weld them, braze them. After that, we go to Head Cycling and we get these awesome wheels that they custom made for us. And we all put it together and you get a 85% American-made bicycle. The process begins with engineering. This program that we're using right here is called BikeCAD. You can input all of your desired lengths, features, angles in this, and this program will tell you all the angles to cut the tubes, the length to cut the tubes. So this is basically your blueprint of a bike. Hot off the press. And now that we have our blueprint, it's time to turn this into this. Raw materials that go into these bikes are just your basic good high-end steel tubing. Eric rolls each tube to find the bow. 
every tube has, will have a bow to it. And what we want to do is eliminate any manufacturing defects. Precision counts. Measurements are down to the millimeter. It'll ride better and you're building a stress-free bicycle, and that's very important. Eric uses the bridge port to cut the tubes. He then grinds the edges to deburr. Love this tool. Check it out, it's cut. Let's go weld a bike. We will weld after this short break. Plus, don't try this at home. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. Ready? Okay. Ready? Ooh, here goes. <laughs> You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Banks Outdoors, Aquarius Home Services, Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery, FBP, and Husqvarna. the bike. Cake Industries produces one of the only 24-inch fat tire bikes on the market right now. And the man making this bike is just as unique. What can I do to get you on a cake today? <laughs> so give us your best. No, do some modeling poses for us. Ah, oh, can't get me. Eric Noren started welding back in high school. Party time. The first company he created was Peacock Groove, making high-end custom traditional bikes. He recently won multiple awards for his Prince Tribute bike. Now his second line is called Cake Industries. Everybody likes cake. Cake is a synonymous thing of joy. I like cake, but I've always been a simple yellow cake, brown frosting kind of guy. A way to a woman's heart, cake and flowers. And don't forget to stop and smell the roses on your way to welding. Hey, you want to see something cool? I do. My gosh. You want to join the club? Well, I don't know. Does it hurt? Just a little. This is a little spark that tells the big spark where to go. As long as you're not an idiot, you won't get hurt. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Ready? Okay. Ready? Ooh, here goes. Ah! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hurt at all. Eric preps for welding by putting the frame in an Anvil Bike Works frame fixture. I couldn't do my job without it. Keeps it very straight, make sure that I'm welding the straightest, most precise bike that I can. And now, this is our official starting point of welding. This is the very first place that we start. So we put our bottom bracket shell in. This is our reference point from now on in the build. This is our ground zero. This is exactly where we start. This is by far the most important step. He TIG welds the frame and the fork. Welding for me is kind of a source of pride. I wouldn't ride something if I didn't weld it. I feel that by my hands always touching a bike, every bike on something, I'm giving you a part of me, and that's a, that's a big seal of approval. For the next step, we need a different kind of heat. It's fire time. First, we flux. It's flux. You put it on your tubes before you do any brazing, and it kind of like, if you make a long story short, it clean stuff. You are, mate, you're putting flux on the water bottle boss holes, and then you're gonna flux these cable guides. So flux it up. Flux it up. A little bit more on this side. Beautiful. I'm fluxing the brazons. Fluxing the brazons. Very good. Holy cow. So seriously though, wow. Yes. 
We're playing with fire, mm -hmm. but what does this actually do? What this is doing is that I am not actually welding these two metals together. I am melting this metal and putting it in between. Think of it as a really hot glue. Yeah, you know, all you gotta do is just do what he does. And he's only been doing this for 24 years and I've been doing this for 24 seconds. Here we go, magic time. Start with the brazen, circular motion. All right, all right, now you can bring that silver in there, rest it on that brazen and heat that silver up. There you go, and feather out. How do we do? Not so bad. Okay, well. Well, if I say good, you're gonna get a swelled head, so yeah. like, you know. <laughs> Honestly, what you just did there by brazing, you were definitely in the top, I would seriously say 5% of people that I've taught right off the bat. We got this far through the welding, through the brazing and the cutting on this frame. Now, we're gonna make seat stays just like that and then put them on here. In order to get all the curves and the bends that I want, I curve them myself. And I do it kind of the old fashioned way. I use my muscles. Am I proud to work with my hands? Everybody has a place in life, and I made mine here, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Look at this. This is really sexy, very appealing, very natural, very organic. Boom, tire clearance, heel clearance, brake clearance. It looks so hot. Sandblasting etches the surface of the frame and fork, removing any rust. And now that the frame and fork are both sandblasted, they are sent out for powder coating. When we come back, we head to head. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Central Boiler. Summit Beer. Ice Castle Fish Houses. Smoky Hills Outdoors Store. And Magnum Research. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors. The majority of cake industry's fat bike is made in the USA. While well, Eric Noren crafts the frame, Head Cycling creates the wheels. We were the first to market a carbon fat wheel. Since that, we have grown worldwide and shipped these carbon fat rims all over the world. This Minneapolis-based manufacturer prides itself in premium bicycle wheels and components. We also realized that there was this little niche market in the 24-inch rim market too. So we collaborated with another Minnesota-made manufacturer, Peacock Road, and he kind of pushed the envelope with us to introduce a 24-inch rim. Head Cycling has two versions of rims, aluminum and carbon fiber. We follow the production of the carbon fiber rim. First, Brandon cuts carbon fiber into strips. What I'm very proud of is that our carbon even comes from the USA. So we have chosen to do as much as we can using USA or Minnesota goods. Next, Tina performs the layup. She places the carbon into the mold, and then the rim is formed under heat and pressure. Every single wheel here made at Head Cycling is made with a local Minnesota person, and then it's shipped all over the world. In the drawing area, several wheel builders work as a team. Jody laces the carbon wheel, while Tina puts decals on the rim. 
The people that work here at Head Cycling come from all walks of life. The diversity is amazing. Andy assembles our aluminum 24 inch wheel. He's worked here for 20 plus years. He laced it with the spokes and the hub. He tensioned it and he, he trued it. So he made it from start to finish completely ready to ride that. We're so proud that we can be a world-renowned manufacturer, but we do everything under one roof right here in Minnesota. Made in Minnesota and shipped all over the world. However, our fat wheels are going only 20 miles away. We'll head back to Cake Bikes after the break. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Escapade Campers, Minnesota Rebath, Border View Lodge, and Absolute Trailer Sales. Back to the show. Our final department is assembly. So now we have our frame back from powder coating. We've got our wheels from head cycling mounted with tires. Eric, what's next? Well, now we're going to go build and brand a bike. Eric handcrafts each bike with attention to detail and decals. Minnesota made, plus a little slice of heaven. We install the headset, slide in the fork, assemble the handlebars, and put the crank in. So now that we got the frame and fork together, we are gonna install the disc brake calipers onto the disc brake caliper mounts. And we're gonna do it with our left hand because we're not left-handed. This is all part of that process. Every once in a while you gotta make sure gravity still works. Still working. And it's not a fat tire bike without these. Thank you. You get the benefit of the fat wheel with not any of the really negative cons of the weight. And we do that through utilizing the head wheel system, which is a tubeless system. So you're already taking you know, over a pound of inner tube out. That's crazy. Always, always, always in the details. Eric then sizes the chain. Yay! Let's go biking! And installs the shifter. So there are 10 gears, and we're gonna test every one of them. Here we go. Works good. Is this the final step? This is the final step. Woo, party. Ready? It's a good looking little bike. That is a really good looking bike. It sure is a good looking bike. Just made for you. Yeah. Bye. I love it. It's a good color, very basic, very clean, not cluttered, beautiful decals, and matching shift housing. And the ultimate test is an off-road adventure. What really helps make this bike between the frame and the fork and the combination of the wheels from head cycling, you can't get any better wheels. These are already an upgrade. They're the best in cycling wheel technology. I couldn't be here without them. Let's bring back that spirit of adventure. It allows you to be a better rider with the same amount of 
contact patch float and the benefit of the fat bike. You still have this huge contact patch and you can kind of climb anything, go over anything, big rocks and roots. It's a piece of outdoor gear made for use year round. So let's keep the fatty phenomenon rolling. Cake's pretty much a production style bike, and what we're aiming for is that you can get a bike quick turnaround time in the color that you want. Because it's my goal to make that person go, holy crap, I've got the coolest bike around. And then you can go like this. Oops. Ooh. You go like oh. that. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that.